Designer Markus Hilzinger was responsible for the interior. He worked closely with entrepreneur Anna-Maria Jagdfeld on the design. For all things culinary, gourmet chef Tim Rauer is in charge. Together, they wanted to create a temple of Asian cuisine for Berlin. Friedrichstraße in Berlin is where Anna-Maria Jagdfeld develops her design concepts. She's created luxury interiors for hotels, embassies, private homes, and now a restaurant which has received acclaim far beyond Berlin. This work is done by carvers in China, who are all aged between 75 and 90. Details count. Even the entrance has to have a noble Asian feel. It's important to have a very exclusive interior. You can see the materials used are the very finest and very expensive. Building the new restaurant costs millions. Only the very best is good enough. Jagdfeld has much of it handcrafted in Asia. There have been a number of problems though, this time with the delivery of the jade wall tiles. We've had some major difficulties. There was severe flooding earlier this year in southern China, near Hong Kong, where we have our things produced. It caused a power outage. They couldn't get our things made on time because they didn't have electricity. And as a result, we have only 40 square meters of the 90 square meters of jade that we need. Guests will pass the walls of jade on their way to Uma, the Japanese restaurant. That's the plan. And just opposite is Ma, the Chinese restaurant. Next to that is the Michelin-starred chef's kitchen. It's all well situated in the center of Berlin, just behind the Adlon Hotel. Craftsmen from all over Germany are working flat out to get everything ready in time for the grand opening in June. This is Tim Rauer's kitchen. I can't wait till all this nonsense is finally done with. Is that Nero Azzoluto? Yes, yes, it's a type of granite which is resilient to acidic solutions. The designer and the cook don't always see eye to eye. The former is concerned about getting every last detail right, while the latter just wants to get cooking. I can already see the cooks in their black uniforms and things starting to sizzle away, and the herbs and spices being put in. When I see this mess, I just get an uneasy feeling, but we'll manage, won't we? We'll manage. Tim Rauer will create his Asian dishes on a high-tech stove that cost 100,000 euros. We're working with pure induction surfaces here. Forget about cooking with gas. With induction, you lose no energy at all. You put your pot or wok on the stove and the stove's coils communicate with each other and there's no wasted heat. You can see the proof of this in my figure. If we used gas, I'd be a little thinner because I would be sweating. But the designer is working up a sweat. Besides the restaurant, Markus Hilzinger is planning villas and golf courses. But it's the complicated interior design for the gourmet temple that's giving him a headache at the moment. The wood panels are on their way, but they're still carving the jade panels. The restaurant's centerpiece, an antique horse from China, has also not arrived. They say that it's actually a Han Dynasty piece. That means that it's over 2,000 years old. They describe it as an early period important pottery horse. We found ourselves a museum piece. Horse is Ma in Chinese and Uma in Japanese. The terracotta horse will be the restaurant's trademark. They found it in Hong Kong and they're not saying how much it cost. It's a museum piece, so it has to be insured, packed carefully and shipped by sea to Germany. Until it's here, and we've unpacked it, checked it's in good condition and put it in position and finally protected it with plexiglass, none of us will be relaxed. The chef is searching for inspiration. 
The ones I had in Tokyo were really crispy. Sometimes he just pops into the Asian food store around the corner to try things. Mirko, how did those mushrooms taste? Well, they didn't exactly win any awards in the flavor category. At times, I don't even know what it is. There are some things that I've never seen before, and I have no idea what they are. We buy these things and let an apprentice have a little taste. If he doesn't start foaming at the mouth, then we ask the ladies, what do you do with this? He picks up some of his ideas here, but he buys the ingredients later from more exclusive suppliers. The very expensive items are typically Chinese products like fish stomachs or abalone, and they can cost up to 1,200 euro per kilo. When you're talking that kind of money, you need to budget cleverly so that you buy a mix of products that you can afford. Next time, the expensive antique horse finally makes it to Berlin from Hong Kong. But there's a shock in store. Oh dear, a leg's broken. Look. Oh.